First up right now at 5 o'clock, a presidential visit here in Connecticut. President Joe Biden is in our state right now. That's right. He made stops in Hartford and really moments ago, the Yukon campus in stores. Channel 3 Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is live at Yukon, where the president was a guest speaker at a dedication ceremony for the Dodd Center for Human Rights. Hi, Susan. Hi, Courtney. The president spoke here at UConn probably for about a half hour, and he has just left the campus on a helicopter. In many ways, it was a very important speech. Even though he was the guest speaker, the event was really held in honor of the Dodd family, more specifically Senator Chris Dodd and also his father, Senator Thomas J. Dodd. They created this Human Rights Center here on the UConn campus in 1995. President Clinton was here when it opened. This is a global program. It is is unlike anything else anywhere in the country. Here's what the president had to say about his friend, Chris Dodd, and what he has done for the university and the country and the world. Leading by example means not pretending that our history has been perfect, but demonstrating how strong nations speak honestly about the past and uphold the truth and strive to improve. We make the best case for gender equality, racial justice and equity, religious freedom, the rights of the LGBTQ plus peoples and other marginalized communities around the world by practicing what we preach. There was a great deal of significance to having this dedication ceremony today and that it is the 75th anniversary of the Nuremberg trials. And Thomas J. Dodd, Chris Dodd's father, was actually a lead prosecutor in those trials, helping to convict about 19 Nazi war criminals. But there's also a personal note to this. There are a lot of friends here, people who have known each other. In fact, the president and Chris Dodd served in the Senate today, or Senate together. They were on the Foreign Relations Committee together. They also ran for president in 2007. And in fact, Chris Dodd made a somewhat of a joke here today, saying he ran for president and he was hoping that people here had forgotten about it. But all things aside, it was a close and very intimate kind of ceremony, if you can imagine that, with some 100, 200 guests here today. But the end result or the mission, the mission was that this was not just a building, something that people go to, but it is a mission. It is something that the country needs to focus on. And President Biden said it is very important, especially for our young people today, to preserve democracy all over the world. He also had a message for many of the young people who were sitting around here today saying that these are the people of the future. It is their responsibility and they should pursue their dreams. We are live on the Yukon campus, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Alrighty.